And what is going on, guys? It's me, Gonduck, here, bringing you back some more Colony Survival. Now, here's what we've accomplished so far. We've left the beds alone. Everything is good in here. And what we've done over here is we've got the farm still how it is. We've got lots of furnaces. We've got two storage crates. And then we've got uh, some grinders. So... The grinders will help with wheat production. It'll um, actually turn the uh, turn the wheat into flour, and then these guys will make bread. So that way we have a lot of food. So we have 22 unemployed people. That means we need 22 beds. Now we can now we need more straw before we can get the beds. So we actually need to start farming fairly soon. So we're gonna start farming very soon here. Now I cannot wait to recruit some colonists. So down here we've got the mine finished pretty much we just need some torches down here to make it a little more homely we've got a lot of uh, furnaces or burners or whatever we've got uh, some uh, uh, we don't need bricks whatever uh, cool these are all cool okay so I didn't realize that those actually have that so these are the stockpile this is where the people will store it and then we have the people that'll make all of it and then we have to bring some miners down here i think so i don't re exactly know how this works but yes so no that's no no stop okay so we need a miner needs a pickaxe place in the bottom of the layer of the world okay so what do we need for a pickaxe an iron ingot so i think this one will be iron so we're gonna have to break this and that is gypsum or however we say it. this has got to be iron then iron yes it is okay cool and wow we have five from that okay so now we can make oh we actually need that no we have iron oh iron ore okay well then we need an ingot so how do we iron ore needs three okay so Let's get three of this then. And then can we make this or no? Or do we put this in the stockpile and let them make it? Probably that. That that probably makes the most sense. So let's go ahead and get some miners then. Or no, no, we can't. We need uh, a flax farm. What is this? Needs flax seeds. Forester? No. Uh, no. Uh, recruit a colonist. Recruit uh, five colonists today. Recruiting colonists cost 50 food units. Okay, so command tool. Let's see what this is. Oh, no. Remove area. Remove area. Remove area. Okay. So we need a guy for that. I I don't know how this works. Okay, well, we'll just leave that. So, let's go ahead. We only have 11 beds, so let's go ahead and I guess recruit some colonists. We'll recruit 11, I guess. No, okay, we need more food. Food use a day, okay. So we need more food, okay. So we have five colonists. Let's see where they all go. Probably should have been up there for that. That'd probably be a little better. So these guys are going to come over to the mine and start working, but there's nothing for them to mine. So can I change his job? No, I can't. Okay, cool. So at least one guy is farming. That's good. We need another. We need a farmer. So unemployed still 17. Uh, probably what? Where are these guys? Oh, nowhere. Okay. So then where are these? What are these guys doing? Oh, we recru recruited five. So two went down there. And one went right there. So where are the other ones? Um, I don't know. Colonist five. So there's one. And then there should be two more somewhere. I watched two come down here. Maybe we shouldn't have spawned them in so fast or something like that. I don't know. Unless they're all down here. Oh, they are all down here. Okay, cool. So then what? We have our iron. No, we have a gold ingot. How do we get gold from iron? Oh, there we go. Okay. So. 
Now we can take this and we can make some of these and then can't change their jobs but if we get more beds after some farming is done we only have two straw so we're gonna need more straw it is gonna become nighttime so these guys are gonna eat food so hopefully we have enough food to keep up because um, yeah we need more grass then or no we'll take it from over here because it's already like taken good a lot from right here so I don't really care how the farm looks we just need it to be uh, tall enough to walk under so there we go so this is does he I was confused what that meant I don't know whatever so um, yeah I'm gonna get some grass to uh, make so okay I'm gonna need a bow so and then we have arrows so I'm gonna take the arrows Yeah, I'll take the arrows and I will use them to defend my people tonight. Now let's just get some more grass here. How much do we have? Grass, temperate. We need the grass, not that. So. Good enough to make two more layer or two more floors of this, I guess. I actually don't know why I'm still like digging it like this. I should have like fixed it. Whatever, I don't even care. I'll eventually use all this anyways. So I'm wondering if all of the ground under us will stay uh, dirt or if it'll turn into grass. Hopefully it'll turn into grass because it'd be a little weird if it didn't. Yeah, we'll just finish breaking all this up. All right, so it's becoming nighttime, so these guys are gonna probably head to bed soon. Yeah. I don't know, I think I might just let all of them die. <laughs> you know, and just kind of, uh, I don't know. That or I'll just wait for some of this wheat to grow. I don't need that, I need this, yeah. Right, then we gotta get more grass. All right, so let's go ahead and get some logs and let's build right here. Okay, cool, everyone's going to bed. I'm pretty sure at least. There, that looks a little better. There. So I can use the command tool. Uh, we'll get a wheat farmer. We'll go here, all the way to here. So then, can we recruit a colonist? No, we'll wait till tomorrow. So everyone's going to bed. I think I might let them all die. Like I'm tempted. If I should or not. I don't know. Nah. We'll protect them. Because we don't give up on our colonists. But we, do, we don't have enough food for everybody. So they will starve. So. Yeah. Is that, is that it? We get one zombie. 
Is it one zombie per five colonists? No, there's another guy over there. Let's see. Got him. All right. We'll just kind of look around here. Make sure nobody's getting in. Got him. Professional. All right. So we don't need a guard yet. We need to make sure we get enough food, so I'm going to focus mainly on this food production right now. I'm not even going to worry about the mine because, uh, you know, they don't need it. I'm wondering if I can close it off really quick. And so and I'm wondering if they'll go and do a different job instead. Like, I'm wondering if I can close it off and if they'll go and they'll do a different job because they can't get to their own. That or if they'll just sit in their bed and, uh, you know, cry. Can I get him all the way from over here? Got him. All right. The it, it gets uh, daytime really fast in this game, I guess. Oh wow, there's there's definitely a lot more. So maybe it's five zombies per every colonist, maybe. Something like that. Uh, there's got or it's maybe it's just the the more days you go through, the more zombies there are. That's why there's a little more today than if I would have recruited colonists on day one, maybe or something like that. I don't know. I'm not gonna question it too much because it is a Minecraft colony clone. So, um, yeah. Let's hope it gets daytime soon, so I can not have to worry about them. Normal, I, I am gonna recruit guards eventually, just not now, because I don't even have enough food to sustain the five colonists I have apparently. Because, yeah. But I'm glad that these grow overnight, so I don't even need to worry about them. Or so like, I don't know. I don't care. Don't even. Don't don't talk to me. Um. Cool, it's being daytime, so these guys are going to die. There was an option where I could have made it where they come during the day, too. But that would be for, like, a really advanced player. Because I don't even know what I'm doing yet, 100%. So. I'm wondering if later on, when I get, like, this tower built, if I should put the flag all the way to the top. So if the zombies break through, they still have to go to the very top of the ladder. I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but that'd be, uh, they, everyone would have to be dead before they even got there. Okay. Okay, yeah, I figured these guys would not know where to go. So, let's, they all need food. So, you know what? Here, I wonder if we, cl if we destroy the, the place, or the jobs that they have, if they'll try, if they'll just go and do a different job. Like, you know what I mean? So I guess I'll just destroy all this. They should start coming now. Yeah, okay, cool. So I gotta destroy these before they actually get down here. Once I get a miner, though, that's when it'll start getting good. So I'll just destroy all these. And we'll get s they should go and get different jobs. They should go and take up either so the grinders or the uh, the guys that make the actual bread. But, yeah. There we go. Yeah, so it does look like they are taking up a different job. Hopefully somebody else gets that farming job. Because I did, I did set the farming. Or maybe did I? I don't know if I did or not. I think I did. Maybe. Who cares? Who knows? Yeah, it should. Yeah, because this is all dirt. But Oh, okay, yeah, this is all weed farming. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and whatever jobs these guys are taking up. Yeah, so here, we do this. So what will he become? No, okay, I just need to break everything. They don't need light. They're peasants. Just kidding. I like my peasants. They're so nice. They do everything for me. No, I keep breaking this. I hate that it does that. Okay, there we go. Let's just take everything out then. Put that up there. So, cool. 
he is actually going to go take up that farming position. Maybe. Yes, he is. Good. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that that works. So we use 25 food a day. So we need this guy to harvest food tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to break down some more dirt or grass or whatever. And I'm going to start working on the next layer of that, actually. And then I'll just kind of make them all kind of do a little farming thing. And then hopefully be able to recruit another colonist. Very slow process. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. And I don't know how to get seeds, but I am seeing like the number go up. So I'm wondering if it just goes up when they destroy it. Sort of like how Minecraft does. How like when you grow something and then when you break it, you get the seeds for it back to keep replanting or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get too worried about it until it until I run out of food, but so far they haven't made any food, which is kind of scaring me because I don't have enough food for tomorrow. Um, yeah. I think the red means that even if I do uh, get enough food, I won't have enough to support them in the long run. So I'm going to make sure that I actually have guys in here. So I've got two guys doing that, and I've got a guy doing that. So there's no wheat. So this isn't done yet. We have to wait for this to be done before we can actually get food. So let's go up again. Yeah, there we go. That should be enough. Nope. I think I can plant too, really, if I wanted. So we'll go up one more. And then we'll place some dirt. Hopefully I'll have enough. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I'm wondering if I will slowly regenerate uh, health, because I haven't so far, so I hope I'm not stuck with 50% health the whole time, because that would kind of suck. Alright. So I think in the, uh, once I get more advanced, I am going to replace the grass floors in those buildings with... Uh, um, with like wood or something like that, wood planks. Now, I have recorded this the same day as the last episode, so that's why I kind of still sound a little weird. Now, as soon as I like get to feeling better and all that, I am going to uh, record more, or not more, but uh, you know. Okay, so that's three, so this needs to be on the fourth one for that to make sense. Okay, cool. I am going to re um, record, no, actually, it would make more sense if it was on this side. I, I'm i going <clears> to <throat> be, uh, crap, I don't even know. I'm going to have my webcam, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, once I, uh, once uh, my nose and my, it everything clears up a little bit, um, and I, and I actually take a shower because I've been gone, so I haven't even been able to shower the whole weekend. You know, because we're underprivileged. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, just once I once I get like ready and everything, I just kind of got home from, uh, this morning and just kind of did, did my thing. I didn't even worry about getting ready. So. No, I see, I always left click. All right, there we go. So now let's come down here and take and break one of these guys and then they should become a yeah that guy should become a farmer now as soon as he completes that task he'll come out here well it's not gonna matter because it's gonna be daytime but yes so probably the next day we'll get wheat which is good it's good we want wheat we need the wheat. We need food by tomorrow, or else we're going to die, because we have enough for three peasants, but we have enough for three peasants, and that's it. Like, we don't have enough after that. We're out. <laughs> we're out of food. We're out of food after this. So, like, two people are going to starve. Yep. Two people are starving now. Yep. I'm assuming these two people starved. Hopefully it was these two people, because they're completely useless right now. These are the these are the people I need. Now I'm hoping this guy, the guy up there, 
the guy on the third level, I just tried pointing on my computer like I was actually, like you guys could see me. And I'm hoping the guy on the third level gets all those, uh, all that stuff planted because actually I can, I can do, yeah, you know what, I can plant too. I don't need berry seeds, I need wheat seeds, yes. Now we are running low on wheat seeds now, I am noticing that. Oh, can the, oh, the, I forgot, this guy can't plant anymore. Yeah, okay. So everyone should be going to bed now. I'll just get the rest of this stuff planted then. Dang, zombies are already coming. Well, then let's get this stuff planted really quick and for the best, I guess. Alright, there we go. So let's quickly... And I, I want to make sure that like if I fall and die, I don't take too much damage. So I am going to... Uh, once I kind of get everything set up, I am going to put kind of walls around all those and put torches everywhere. But right now, we don't need it. So, we don't have enough food tomorrow. Tomorrow, if we don't get enough food, everyone's going to die. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, so I will fend off the rest of this night. And uh, I'll join you guys in the morning for the next episode. So I will see you guys later. Like and subscribe for more. And goodbye.